Hello, my name is Stephanie Davis, and I will be reflecting on the article Body Ritual Among the Nekarima by Horace Minor. I thought the article that Minor wrote was really interesting and opened different aspects of the culture that I never really thought of before this class. Their cultural practices to me seemed a little bit unethical, but I could see the correlations that they had with the American culture, and I will explain those correlations in the next section of this video. Overall, I just found it really shocking in terms of the rituals that they performed in their education and that anatomically. So the Nekarima culture was really intriguing to read about considering how biology, anatomy, and medicine were ingrained into their culture. I also noticed that Nekarima is American spelled backwards and throughout the article the language that the Nekarima used dif differed meanings from today such as charm boxes meaning medicines or shrine meaning toilets. Um, to me, this really showed that the Nekarima culture could also be identified as a form of American culture. Uh, this is because of how many sim similarities were shown in the practices. One of them that was explained was the holy mathmen, who were basically dentists. Um, the further you read, you can see that medical terms such as lacerations were being used. Moving on, I will be describing a practice from my own culture from an outside perspective. One of my cultures, since I am multi-ethnic, is Mexican, and one of these holidays that the Mexican tradition shows is the Day of the Dead, which is November 1st and November 2nd. These um, can be seen as a ritual if you want to compare it to the Negrima culture. Um, during the Day of the Dead, we honor those two that have passed on, whether it's a pet or a person, and to honor them, we cook their traditional favorite foods and we put out flowers and we tell stories about them to um, the community or within a family. So as it is celebrated within a community or as a family, many items such as skulls and flowers were used because of the vivid and bright colors. And this can be seen um, even when the Aztecs were celebrating the Day of the Dead. And I think from the outside view, it may be confusing to someone who is not educated in Mexican culture or just not familiar with it. Um, I think because of the colors that the Day of the Dead presents, it can be mixed up with Halloween, despite it being November 1st and 2nd and not October 31st. Overall, I think the only reason that confusion will be brought up is the misconception of the culture because it is most likely unfamiliar to their own. So the Day of the Dead hasn't really changed throughout history besides it started um, off as being celebrated by the Aztecs. Um, the Aztecs still used schools, which is why it is still very symbolic today. It wasn't until the Spaniards came to Mexico where they introduced Catholic ideas and Mexican traditions started adapting to that. The Day of the Dead is separated by two days, November 1st, which is for the children, and the second, which is for all souls. Overall, it remains to be a very important celebration despite the changes it experienced, it mostly stayed the same. I think the changes that the United States culture experienced were beneficial, but I also think that the acceptance of diversity in other cultures is still an issue today. One of the things I can compare the American culture with the Mexican culture is honoring those who have passed away. I think this is highlighted more in military or events that have unified the United States, such as the 9-11 incident. A quote I found regarding 9-11 and one of the towers columns that is still there in the 9-11 museum was standing tall once again the last column will encourage reflection on the foundations of resilience hope in the community with which we might build our collective future i think that quote is very important and it remains to be something that american culture stands by and you can still see that how that quote works in today's society and how these ethical issues that are happening around us People still unite, even though they're going through a hard time.